Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Gcam ports for S21 devices. Now this goes for S21, S21 Plus, and S21 Ultra. Now bear in mind, I do have a Snapdragon variant device, so I have no clue if this will work on an Exynos series device. Just going to say that right off the bat, disclaimer, I do not know. But if it does work for you, that's great. So first things first, we're going to go to Google Chrome and we're going to go to a link that I have in the description below and you're going to download the actual port itself. It's going to be the third one in this row and it'll say Samsung and you're just going to download it and it should work. But, but because there is some bugs for the S21 line of devices that people have seen, a Redditor going by the name of Berserker15, I do not know if he actually created this or not, but if he did, then thank you so much for this. I'll be leaving the link to his XML file in the description below as well as the link for the Gcam port and you download it and this will come in handy. So basically what he says is it might still freeze sometimes, but if it does, just click on the camera lens and it'll reload and work. So pretty good, straightforward. Now we're going to teach you guys how to install this XML file. So first things first, we're going to go into whatever file manager you use. I have Samsung, so I'm going to use my files, obviously. And it's going to look like this HTML file right here. What you're going to want to do is go to your internal storage and create a new folder called Gcam. And that's right here. I click it and you see how these are two configs. Now, I'm going to be honest, I didn't know the difference between the two. So I just created two of them and I put the same XML file in both configs and config seven. I do not know the difference. So if someone could explain that to me in the comments down below, greatly appreciate it if you did. But basically just to be safe, I created a folder called configs and config seven. And you're going to put that XML file that you just downloaded into that folder. Now, let me go over this again. You're going to create a Gcam folder in your internal storage, create two folders called configs and config seven, and put the XML file that you've just downloaded in both folders. So now that you've done that, all you have to do is go back to your home and find the camera app of your source. And that is going to be looking a little bit different than the camera app itself. Now that you have it downloaded, all you have to do is double tap the left or right black sides of the camera app, which is located right next to the change camera button or your album button. And you're going to click the XML file and then click restore. The camera app will open up again and it should work perfectly fine. That's basically it for this video. Let me know if it works for you in the comments down below and whether or not you think Gcam is even worth installing on this device, I will be doing a comparison between the Samsung stock camera app and the Gcam camera in the foreseeable future. So stay tuned if you are interested in seeing that. So that's basically it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.